Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys my very first solo win of Firestorm. And this happened about mm, 30 minutes ago now. Uh, it was about my 7th or 8th game. And um, yeah, it was the first time I had some, some really good interactions with enemy players. And in general, there was action quite a lot of the time. And it was a really nice round, actually. I think we ended up with about 7 kills. So I thought... Um, I'll just do a live commentary over the top of, of the gameplay and maybe walk you guys through like my thought process at the time and just so you guys can see some uh, some good Firestorm gameplay. It's only just launched like a couple of hours ago. So a lot of you guys might be at work right now and you're going to come home later and this will give you a feel for like a, a proper round or a proper win. So I decided to drop at that small little bit of land that sort of juts off the coast. I think it's called Baldar's Point or something like that. And I wanted to drop on the lighthouse to see if there was any good loot. And I managed to pick up a, a rare car 98 straight away. And it's got this sight on it that I'm not quite sure is working properly at the moment. It's like really blurry when you look through it. But somehow managed to use it absolutely no problem. And as it happens, Baldar's Point, this bit of the map, has some really high tier loot over here. Proper rare stuff and epic stuff on the ground all the time. Look, you can see here we've got two Bren guns that are blue rarity. These are rare. So uh, if you guys want like a good start or you definitely want some weapons around the lighthouse and barracks area, there's uh, definitely some good stuff. I even managed to pick up an epic MP40, but there was so much MG ammo on the ground that I just decided and thought, you know, should probably go for a weapon that I'm comfortable with. And I actually found this safe as well. I didn't spot it the first time I went into the room or about the third or fourth time I actually walked past it. But this is one of the safes that holds, I think it's rare and epic loot. And because it takes like 15 seconds to open, you're going to get something good that pops out of it. But I think as it happens, like another FG42 pops out of this thing. And I didn't want to carry two weapons with the exact same ammunition type because you can only carry so much ammunition in this game. So I thought it was a good idea to, to keep it separate and have the Car 98 and, uh, and have the FG42. In fact, FG42 is my favorite weapon in Battlefield 5. So the fact that I, uh, I got a win with it here in Firestorm is, uh, is really, really nice. Just want to say this video is sponsored by Elgato. These guys are powering my streams with their awesome equipment like the Stream Deck. They make all the stuff you need to take your stream to the next level. So click the link in the description, head to their site for more info. At this point here, I'm actually trying to figure out why I haven't got any opportunity to pick up more ammo. And because you can only carry four ammo types at once, I had to decide what I wanted and what I didn't. And I had some rifle ammo in there and some uh, SMG ammo, I think, where I picked up the MP40 earlier. Um, so I decided to drop that and uh, picked up some more sniper rifle ammo, because that's obviously really important, right? If you're running around with a sniper rifle, you want to make sure that you've got enough rounds with it, because it's one shot, and if you miss, you're going to have to switch to your secondary to start engaging that enemy, so I uh, figured that out. And uh, I popped uh, an armor shield in there, and actually gave me a little bit more room in my inventory, so I could uh, pick up some more Panzerfaust rounds. I've actually got six Panzerfaust rounds there, which is uh, way more than you can carry in normal Battlefield 5 multiplayer. But um, yeah, it means I can pick up more stuff and just make sure that I've got plenty of supplies in my backpack. And I think this is actually coming up to my first my first kill here. Yeah, I'll, I'll let it play. So I managed to get a shot with the Car 98. And uh, then finished the guy off with a headshot with the FG-42. I actually really enjoyed that because it was just one of those ones where the recoil kicked up onto the guy's head. It was just one of those uh, those perfect kill moments. And here I could hear footsteps in the background. I was absolutely sure I heard somebody. So uh, I did what any Battlefield player would do. <laughs> And there you go, second kill. I think that guy had a shotgun. I felt really bad for him. There was no way he was going to do enough damage at that kind of range to well, to really do anything to me whatsoever. And at this point, I'm running around with a medium armor vest on with no armor plating in it. So um, to be fair, I, I got quite lucky. Had he had like a rifle or an SMG, I would have taken some severe damage there. So to be honest, this is just shows you like only the first few matches of Firestorm. I'm still not quite used to everything yet, but... Uh, here you can see me now just popping those uh, those armor plates in. This is the healing animation for anyone that's interested. 
You have to sort of wait for the red bar to finish and then you can start another one. And if you looked in the inventory down in the bottom corner, you get like a progress circle on the healing syringe as you apply it. So you know how long you've got until you can apply the next one. But this is how Baldar's Point is connected to the mainland. It's this really thin strip of land here. So it's not technically an island, but I kind of consider it one because it's not directly connected. Well, it is directly connected, but it kind of just juts out off the coast. And as I said, there's quite a lot of high tier loot there. So... If you guys want to jump on, that's a good place to start if it's in the if it's in the circle that you can drop to straight away. It's always worth checking little buildings to see if there's there's any stuff there. Like there's a good MP40 there. There's a nice M1A1 carbine. So if you didn't have uh, one of those weapons already, it's always worth just dropping in and out of buildings, even if you've got enough loot. I mean, like look at my inventory on the bottom right corner there. I've got plenty of loot here. I'm uh, I'm not running low on anything really, but. That's a battle royale. You've got to pop in, you've got to pop out, see if there's a better weapon or not. And uh, that's exactly what I was doing there. And coming into this building, I was actually trying to look for uh, another safe. Because I know, having played Firestorm over in Stockholm a couple of weeks ago, there is a crate spawn up in this top floor. But see where those wooden boxes are? It had been replaced with that. And I think that's just because those crates randomly spawn at the start of rounds. And just at this round, uh, it, it wasn't there. But that is a, a spawn location for one of the crates, if, uh, if you wanted a tip. Now, this is really interesting, actually, because in my uh, breakdown of the Firestorm images that were released last week on Twitter, you'll remember that I spotted a tunnel. And uh, as you can see here, even though there is a tunnel, it's completely blocked up with, uh, with rocks. So there is the possibility that it could go all the way around the map, but it seems it's blocked off. And that may be a design choice. It might be from Criterion wanting to stop people from camping in the, uh, in the tunnel, which would make sense. But at the same time, I thought it would be quite interesting having those tunnels open and giving people different routes around the map. But hey-ho, maybe it's not to be. You can see over there, that's one of the uh, the vehicle bunkers. That's the one where if you start opening the door, the massive alarm goes off. And so far, because I've only been playing solos, I didn't really want to get into a vehicle because they're just... Everyone can hear them from like miles around and they just you're just drawing attention to yourself. But I have been half opening one of the doors and going down into the bunker and sort of checking the loot box that was down there to see if there was any good gear or not. Uh, a couple of times I managed to pick up sort of rare weapons, but uh, most of the time I was just picking up common stuff. But again, it's another option. If you haven't got enough loot and you're near one of those vehicle bunkers, then it might be worth uh, going down there and just seeing what's available. And if you did want to take the vehicle, I think there's ammo and fuel canisters down in there. So pick those up as well. And then you can uh, you can fuel up your vehicle as you go. Because it doesn't start with a full amount of fuel in it. One of the things that Criterion tried to solve with Battle Royale for Firestorm was this mid-game. Where you tend to get a bit of a lull in some of the combat. And I've got to say, like, there is still a bit of a lull in the combat here. I mean, I've only played about seven or eight rounds. But um, I've survived the start of every single round. And I've either died mid to late game. Um, and I've got to say, there isn't as much action in the mid game as I would like there to be. But that's a common issue of all Battle Royale games. If you play Apex sometimes, if you play PUBG, definitely the mid game needs some work there. And even if you play Fortnite as well, sometimes the mid game can be really slow because there's not much for you to do. But I did manage to spot this guy who was running away down there. And this is kind of an interesting interaction because this is where my, uh, what should we say, newbie self comes in for Battle Royale games. I'm not the best Battle Royale player. And at that range, perhaps I shouldn't have engaged the guy. But I decided to and I did anyway. Uh, and I actually missed this shot as well. Which puts me at a disadvantage because he now knows roughly where I am. Any good Battlefield player will know that somebody sitting off in the distance is probably sitting on a hill. <laughs> prone, camping, waiting for them. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. And it puts me at a disadvantage because now he's coming to me and he's going to rush me. But I am looking down the hill, so I've got better vision than what he's got. Um, I decided to go with the uh, FG42 here. Footsteps. And to be fair, I got quite lucky. Because uh, I should have aimed in, and I should have used uh, some of that that extra accuracy boost, but I decided not to. Um, did I spend a lot of time? Yeah, I spent a little bit of time wandering around that. That's one of the areas where 
Firestorm has to improve. The looting experience right now is 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 quite poor. You can see there, like, all the loot sort of overlaps each other, which means I can't accurately pick up the thing that I want to pick up. And that can be really frustrating when you're sort of in a zone where you know other people are hanging out. And if you need to loot quickly, it's kind of not really possible to do that in Firestorm at the moment. But as I've said in my previous videos, Criterion are working on it. And they will make sure that they solve that problem. Death boxes is one of those things that's on the table. Apex uses those. PUBG uses those. I think that's the best solution for Firestorm. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. But I think they should just implement death boxes. And then that way it'd be much easier to loot from that. So I took a couple of shots there. And I switched to what I thought was going to be my armor plate. But I actually have to switch that back into my inventory. Because I've got more available slots than that. Um, so it's not a static button that's attributed to each different thing. It depends on where it is in your inventory, but this guy was creeping up on me. And he didn't survive. <laughs> it's kind of like King of the Hill up here. I've got a, a viewpoint of sort of everything around me. Um, but I can also hear footsteps again. And that guy got absolutely destroyed as well. So yeah, two kills in quick succession with the FG42. I love this gun, man. It's just such good fun to use. The rate of fire is just... It's intoxicating. <laughs> it's such good fun. I think this is actually a drivable vehicle. Yeah, you can enter the pickup truck. So if you wanted to use that as a vehicle, you could definitely do that. It's not marked on the mini-map. That's really important, I should probably say. Look, there's a tractor off over there in the distance. That's not marked on the mini-map as a vehicle. And I was trying to find this guy's loot. It had slid down the side here. I wanted to pick up a couple of things. But if you are using vehicles, they're not marked on the mini-map. So if you spot one, maybe go and grab it before anyone else sees it. And uh, you might be in with a better shout of, of getting to where you need to go. So yeah, definitely king of the hill up the top here. I can see everything around me. I can see the dam. I can see the lake. I can actually see a green flare down in the bottom right there as well. And I've actually got some extra loot still on the ground that I couldn't pick up at the moment. Because I've got eight bandages in my inventory, which is fully geared up. And I don't actually know why I hadn't healed up at this point. As you can see, I've got two empty armor slots and I'm not actually up at full health. I think this is, again, just my newbiness at Battle Royale. I'm just not in the mindset of, uh, of getting myself back and geared up all the time. Just because it's an extra layer of something that I haven't had to consider before. And this guy was running across the dam and he conveniently hid himself behind this cover and I could not shoot through that. I could see him on that very corner there. And, like, he kept poking his head in sort of that, like, triangle section. And you can see what I mean about this scope. It's, like, super blurry. I don't think it's working correctly unless, the, like, extra blur has been added so that so that you can't pull off massively long shots with it. But this is a rare car 98. The guy just jumped off there. I don't know if he died or not, but he just decided, nope, not having any more of that. Yeah, I don't know if... Because this is a rare car 98. It's not, like, the basic one. If you get the basic one, you're using iron sights. But I've got two rare weapons here, and both of them have got sights on them. But I don't know if they've added extra blurring to that Car 98 sight, because I feel like they have, unless I'm just not used to using that sight very much. That guy just appeared out of nowhere. I think he'd come from the uh, supply drop that was over on, on the left. I'm just listening out here. And by the way, biggest tip, if you're playing Firestorm, Holy hell, should you be wearing headphones? Trust me, headphones are the most, like, important thing in Battle Royale games. If you can hear things that other people can't because you're wearing headphones and, and they're using speakers, you can gain a massive, massive advantage. And in Firestorm, footsteps are loud. You can hear people in, like, the next building across, across the road. It is faint, but you can definitely hear their footsteps. It just sort of adds to that tension. I got really lucky that I didn't take more damage there, and that's what I'm saying. I should have already been armoured up at this point. I should have uh, I should have had armour in there, and I should have been at full health, but I wasn't. And here, I don't think I actually healed up to full, because I was concerned the guy was going to rush me. And also, I think he actually popped something on me. I think it was a call-in of some sort, and you'll probably see that in a minute. But he didn't survive much longer. <laughs> I really, really liked that shot. I actually made an audible giggle when uh, when I pulled that one off in-game. So we're up at six kills now with three players alive, and the circle is quite big. I think I finish off my healing here because I know I'm a little bit safer. But you can start to hear the roar of that fire. 
So I'm not actually that close to the fire, but you can definitely hear the roar. And this is what I mean about picking up loot. I wanted to pick up the health kit. And like, I had to stand right over it and look at it. And I thought from a little bit further away, I might be able to pick it up. But no, I actually swapped my weapon in and out with something else, which was really frustrating. So yeah, the Criterion are definitely on it, but that's got to be fixed. The looting such an important part of Battle Royale games that it's uh, a little bit saddening that it's not as good as it should be. The zone's really starting to come in now, and I'm actually not in it anymore. My little King of the Hill hiding spot up here where I've managed to kill multiple people. Been a nice little place to uh, to sort of camp it out. And this is where he popped a, he popped something on me. I think it was artillery. I think he popped artillery on me. Yeah, you can see it appear on the minimap there. So that's the call-in area, so now it's been active. And I thought that was a guy's head or something, but actually it was just a leaf. But someone over the back there made a run for it. Don't think he landed a shot. No, he didn't. But because I was in the call-in area and I started hearing the artillery, I was like, nope, I'm out of there. I don't want to die to <laughs> indirect fire. Thank you very much. So uh, I took refuge down the hill. Um, and actually gave away the high ground, which was maybe a mistake. Um, actually, as you get close to the fire here, you can see the effect, the heat haze that it has on you. Which is why you don't want to be near the edge of the circle in Firestorm, trust me. See this drop coming in? I thought somebody was hiding down there. So now I knew somebody was kind of up the top, and I thought someone was down there. Because the drop came in. But no, somebody got shot up the top, and there's only two people left. That means they came together... And because I left, I just went down the bottom. <laughs> just trying to find my way up. Here comes the W. Bam. V for victory. There you go. My first win in Firestorm. It's quite a tense round by the end because I thought I'd given away the high ground, but actually it turned out to be a pretty good round in general. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video today, and I uh, hope it gives you some idea of what Firestorm is actually like, so when you guys log on later today, you can, uh, you can figure everything out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.